Hello and welcome to this Halloween episode of 101 Sports. I'm Thomas Hale. And I'm Ellie Whittington. We have a spooky show planned today, but before all of that, Thomas and I are going to jump in with the quick hitters. Mascots are common across all levels of sports, and for years they have been entertaining and frightening fans alike. Thomas, which mascot is the most terrifying out there in all of sports? All right, so the New Orleans Pelicans hosted the All-Star Game in mm -hmm. 2014 for the NBA, and over there they have Mardi Gras and all that. Yes. And there's a little tradition there where during the Mardi Gras season you eat a cake, and inside that king cake, cake, little king, king cake, cake yes. there's a little baby doll inside. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather keep that in the cake because <laughs> The Pelicans decided to make this a mascot. They made a full-size king cake baby. It had big eyes, like messed up teeth, crazy hat. It was the scariest baby I've ever seen. It went around and scared tons of athletes. Like, no one likes this thing. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yes, I was looking at pictures of it. It's like, this is terrifying. It's a full-size baby. The the head's this big. I don't know if anything about Mardi Gras, but like the babies are usually like this yeah, little, and they're little supposed toy. to bring good luck, I think. Not this one. So. <laughs> <laughs> it brings bad luck, scary. Yeah, this thing's freaky. <laughs> I'm going with the Arizona State um, Sparky the Sun Devil. The, mm. the mascot of the university is the Sun Devil. Yeah. But this is like a, a devilish looking face. And all I could think about was laying in my bed and having these bad dreams of this oh Sun Devil. <laughs> so no and Arizona think, State games for yeah, you? And also like a lot of mascots I think are good more towards children. Yeah. So you want this friendly, huggable thing, not something like the Chick-fil-A oh, cow that someone's going to run from. That's true, yeah. Like, you scared <laughs> of the Chick-fil-A cow? No, I love Chick-fil-A. Okay, I was about to say, yeah. Go Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Last week, the New York Yankees and manager Joe Girardi decided to part ways. Girardi had been at the helm for 10 years, making six playoffs and won the 2009 World Series. Ellie, was this the right move, or is it going to come back to haunt the Yankees in the future? This is a tough one, yeah. and just ending the season, baseball season isn't even over, but right. I am going with this is the right move for the Yankees. You got that jersey on. Uh, yes, I, I do. Let's I'm, hear the official uh, stance. I think that it was the right move. Girardi's been with the organization for 10 years. He did lead them to the 09 World Series, and this past season to the last game mm -hmm. of the American League Championship, Absolutely. actually to Game 7, where the Astros obviously advanced are now playing for the World Series. I think that Girardi has had a great run with the Yankees mm -hmm. and he has done a wonderful job as manager but I think it's time. It's you kind of get in a rut over time. There's a great team. The Yankees are a great team and they're going to continue I think with these baby the, bombers. The thing about this is that it seems like Girardi was just on the cusp of a really great run for the Yankees mm. right now and I think that the Yankees have so much young talent. You see a guy like Aaron Judge and then you see what Girardi... Aaron Judge is still there! He, I know he's going to stay there, but I want Girardi to stay there with him so well, he, he doesn't can play. coach him the whole time. Well, he's going to coach him the whole time. <laughs> okay. So okay. the thing is, though, is that Girardi took this team mm -hmm. all the way to the ALCS. What can they do in the future? Well, I, I do want to bring this up. You're correct in that. But hey, when the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the last time that Girardi was a manager, he was a manager for the, the Marlins mm -hmm. in um, Florida. And in 2006, he won manager of the year with the Marlins, and the team played very well. They didn't make the playoffs, but they had a great season. Right. The, the same year that he was manager of the year, he was fired. So this is very similar. He's got bad luck, it sounds like No, to me. it's good luck. He's going to move on, do great things. The Yankees are going to continue to do great things and have a new manager mm. and maybe win That's what you think. I'm with Girardi. Yeah. I'm with Joe. Okay. <laughs> I am too. Halloween is a time where many dress up as their favorite athlete on their favorite teams or their favorite team's colors. Which athletes and costumes would be the most fitting in all of sports? So I'm going to pick a flashy guy like Odell Beckham Jr. to do this off of. Ooh. When you see him on the football field, this guy scoring touchdowns he's got the nicest dance moves in the league I gotta give it to him dancing so, does not make a costume oh, oh, just, just, just you wait it's a makes okay. a costume when he dresses up as the king of pop Michael Jackson he could totally kill it he's out there doing the moves he can moonwalk all over the field in turf and cleats oh. he could do it easily so on you the think floor. Odell should dress up I think he should do Odell Beckham should dress up as Michael Jackson or a pack of ramen noodles because he's got that crazy hair Ooh, the crazy hair. And I think if you dressed up as Odo Beckham Jr., you would have to dye your hair. Some crazy wig. I think you'd wear a clown wig. Not a lot of people want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going with Cam Newton. I think that this dude, he rocks Halloween costumes. And if you see him in every press conference, which hasn't been very good for him yeah, lately, no, that's true. but um, his outfits are insane. I think you could literally go to the thrift store, go to Goodwill, go to your closet, and yeah. pick out the most outrageous items that you own, put them on, Pretty close and say, to I'm dressed as Cam Newton. Yeah. But they're probably way more expensive than anything you I have. get a little man romper or something, go a find man one of those. Romper. Yeah, he's the one who made those famous. <laughs> Would you wear a man romper for Halloween? No, not yet. Uh, not, not, yet. Yet. <laughs> not yet. Once Cam wears it a couple more times. Yes, I like he has these like, really crazy shoes. I'm a shoe queen, so Ooh. I want some Cam Newton shoes. Oh, okay. I'll get some for you. <laughs> 
Monsters are just as much a part of Halloween as pumpkins. Now imposing, scary athletes are common in all sports, but the question remains, who's the biggest and scariest athletes in all of sports? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. You know, this season has put a lot of questions, is Tom Brady too old, all of these things, but I will tell you, if I was any NFL team, mm -hmm. I still would fear Tom Brady. Really? That man, is a su he's a superhero in himself, I think. He, he has these magic powers. Hey, well, I got his kryptonite. Ray, Ray Lewis, Lewis. Right there, wow. baby. Ray Lewis. Let's Tom Brady was terrified of Ray Lewis on the field, and so was every other team when Ray Lewis stepped on the field. Two-time Defensive Player of the Year, two-time Super Bowl champ, 13-time Pro Bowl. I this think that Tom Brady has winner. a little few more rings than couple that. Couple more rings, but I think he's got a couple more bruises when Ray Lewis was knocking him on oh, the ground, too. That's a good point, but Tom Brady, I think right now, if the quarterback runs this team, and let me tell you, I would not want to be against Tom Brady any day. Absolutely. Um, it, He's unless just, I'm Ray he, Lewis. He, he's so smart. He runs his offense incredibly, and unless you're Ray Lewis, that's true. But he's a good player. He's the goat. Now, tell me right now, um, if you had to pick between the two, having a better costume, who would have a better costume? Ray Tom Lewis Brady or Ray Tom. Lewis? Ray Lewis. Why do, you, why do you think that? I don't know, Tom Brady. Oh, but with Giselle, I think they would have this perfect. Tom I'm thinking Brady this wears perfect. Outfit. I don't know. Yeah, he wears, he's uh, well, he's going to have the really nice <laughs> outfit. <laughs> but can you imagine Giselle and Tom Brady and their little kid? Like, that's perfect family Halloween. They are. That's true. But Ray <laughs> Lewis, that's my boy. What do you want him to be? Ray Lewis, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe a mobster. <laughs> he already dresses like a mobster all the time. I could totally see him. Well, happy Halloween to all of you, and well, I hope you. you have a great time. <laughs> that's all we have for this episode of Quick Hitters. But don't go anywhere because I will be joined at the desk to discuss some college football.